Hello, my name is Bobby, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you an example of how you can use behaviors with Scrivener for Jira Cloud to customize your Jira issue creation process with templates to make life easier for your users. So in here, we can see that I've created a behavior and I've given it a name. So setting the default description and summary we're going to be setting. I've also enabled this behavior and I've mapped it onto the projects and issue types I want it to apply to. So webinar and story. Now that I've defined the generic information about this issue, I need to write the script that is going to perform the pre-fill population of those fields. So click to add a script. You can see here that I have the option to select events and views on which I want the script to run. So I'm going to select on load because as this is a templated value, I only want this to apply when a user first opens up the issue creation screen. I don't want it to be overriding what they input every time they interact with other fields during this process. And then I'm only going to apply it to the create view. Again, I don't want it on the issue view. Once they've created an issue, I don't need to go and fill out the summary or description with a template. That data should already be there once they've created this. Now in my script, all I need to do is get the fields and then set the value for those fields. So if I say const summary field, uh, let's go lowercase s and then equals get field by ID. And in here, I'm going to put summary. Then all I need to do is summary field dot set value. and then enter what the value I want it to pre-fill with is. So as a user, I want to dot, dot, dot. Now we save the script, we save the behavior as a whole, and this is now applied to your Jira instance. So if I go to here and I click to create, and it opens up a webinar story, we can see here the summary has been pre-populated with the value that we want to that I defined earlier. We do have an example in the library, which gives you the ability to pre-populate the description as well with the Atlassian markup value. This is also available in the app itself. So if I go into back into the script here, you can see under example scripts, we have set the default text in the description field. I can copy that code and add it in to my script here. So we can see this gives you a load of information, comments. It gives you a link to a site which allows you to play around and build your Atlassian specific markup value. So you build what you actually want to show and it gives you the ADF here. Um, and then prefills it with a load of value. So if I save this now and click save here. Now that we've saved the behavior as a whole, let's try again to create an issue. We're going to see that not only is the summary pre populated, but the description is pre populated also. Hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.